Thank you for joining us today for the Cape Chronicle. I'm Alex Gasser, new face on Cape Chronicle. I look forward to co-hosting the show with Mike Rennick. I have three guests in the studio today. First, we'll be talking to your Ward 2 City Council member and Porch Director, Tamika Randall. Then Kendra Eads will join us. She is the Executive Director of the SEMO Network Against Sexual Violence, where I also serve as the Development Director. And finally, we'll end today's show with Jojo Stewart, Cape Girardeau's Assistant Emergency Management Director. That's all ahead on Cape Chronicle. Come on. You're not going to get it all right. Just make sure you nail the big stuff. Like making sure your kids are in the right seats for their age and size. Get it right at NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Welcome to Cape Chronicle. I'm Alex Gasser. Our first guest today is wearing two hats. Tamika is both the Executive Director of Porch and Cape Girardeau City Council's Ward 2 representative. Tamika, welcome today. <laughs> Um, so you're just super involved in the community. What drives you to, to give back and be involved? Um, people. <laughs> so uh, even though I'm in the political arena, but my passion has always been to serve people. So I've had a degree in education. So it started with young people. Uh, then it started with their parents. Now I'm starting with families and now I'm starting with community. So. I evolved in serving people as well as um, in my wearing the different hats that I do serve. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So uh, I saw that per Porch has been in the news recently for rehabilitating homes. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Okay. If I have enough breath to tell you about that. <laughs> um, so excited. We launched our housing initiative in November of uh, 2022 um, and we started with helping those that want to become first time homeowners with their first home um, in South Cape. And so we help them partner with the render, or not a, a lender, a realtor, insurance companies, um, if they need assistance with their credit, getting into the right financial institution to be able to do that. So we help them work through the process of what it is to purchase their first home. So we've wow. been able to place two families in homes so far as of November of last year. And then we just assisted with putting one under contract today. And so those three awesome. homes. Um, and our next phase of our house rehabilitation project is um, we purchased four homes in South Cape and we started renovation with those last week. Wow. Um, so that's exciting. We call it the Pacific project. So most of the homes are located in uh, Pacific. Um, so we're really excited about that. We, all, we just started in November, but it's getting a lot of energy and synergy from partners within the community and the community itself. So one of the proudest moments that we have when we go visit the homes to see what they need. The neighbors come out, get involved with us, tell us what's going on in the community, good and bad. So that's the good. Um, and so it's been really a delight um, to do the most good and porch making good on their promises in our housing initiative. So I'm really excited about that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So how would someone get involved in porch if they were interested in it? Oh, we um, our web, um, our organization is office is located at the Shawnee Center. So we have a great partnership with the City Parks and Rec Department. Um, and so in person there uh, with our organization or um, online, kporch.org, we on Facebook. Um, and my number and email is worldwide since it's on the City Council website. So um, everyone can have it if they want to. So, <laughs> um, so that's uh, one way to get connected to us. And then we'll work uh, with our board and our committees to make sure people get connected as they want to to serve. Awesome. Is there anything specific that right now you really need some assistance with from the community? Uh, we have a sneaker ball, but I don't know if the date. But um, so <laughs> um, we actually, PNG just called us and they're going to assist us with a service project to help get some of the debris out of the homes so awesome. we can start renovating them. Um, actually, we got a couple other calls. so. Um, if the community want to get involved and kind of help us clean up some of the homes that we started on, we have a general contractor that we're working with and United Land Title. So we're working with people that do this type of business and we're working together to help grow the community. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so you're also here to talk to us uh, about city council. Okay. Can you share what's going on in your ward? And um, Well, 
Well, I would have to say I'm really excited about par partnering with the Parks and Rec. Uh, one of the most exciting things, Rainy Park um, has been, you know, long overdue for some community members. And so I've been partnering or communicating. They've been doing most of the legwork with the City <laughs> Parks and Rec to make sure that park will be upgraded and the community can be something they can embrace. And that will be happening in the next few months or so. So I'm really excited about that. Um, you know, we have ports, so we evolve and rehab. Southside Farms is getting ready to develop, and they've been breaking ground on um, good things that's coming that way. Um, so we're just trying to find a way to merge with the city and organizations and some of the churches um, that we want to partner with to be able to help grow that side of the community. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Is there anything else that I haven't thought about that you'd love to, to chat about? <laughs> um, well, one important thing, even though I have another hat, but I only get paid for one job, but I got many hats. But um, <laughs> I serve on the, uh, the Missouri Housing Development Commission. So oh, I was yeah. in Jeff City yesterday. Um, a lot of money at the state level. Um, and when we, uh, I just was appointed by the governor in February, so I'm new to the commission. But as we go over to approve funding, there's not a lot of funding that comes to the region. So I had a chance to talk to the executive director and some of the commissions and see what we can do to provide, bring that information here so people can know what's going on and have access to that. Um, I just feel when I'm kind of at the state level, we're just missing out on a lot of opportunities that other parts of the state receive. And so I think it's important in the roles that we're in and leadership that we get connected to the state level and federal level, it depends on how far in advance you are with that, to bring resources to Southeast Missouri, because we've really been lacking behind in uh, leadership positions as well as funding that's received in our area. So I've put the plug in, I'm gonna have a conference call with some of the, uh, the, uh, the executive director to see what we can do um, to provide more opportunities for our region. So that's, impo that's important to me, you know, another yeah. thing to put on my hat. Yeah. <laughs> You have to have monies to be able to provide, and a commission does have that, and they're open to seeing what they can do to, to serve Southeast, Southeast Missouri even more. So Awesome. Mm -hmm. Are there ways for folks in our community to help advocate for that, to, to help push that forward? So that's one thing I was asking them for. What can we do to make sure the information is received here in that regard? Um, and so we're going to conference call and see what we can do to be able to have that. But they also have a website. So you can check out the Missouri Housing Development Commission website because they will post mm -hmm. regularly different grants that come about. Um, and if you need some support or assistance with it, I can make sure you get connected to the right person to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. Well, thank you so much for, for being here today with mm -hmm. us and mm -hmm. sharing everything that you're involved with. <laughs> and I don't know how you find the time. <laughs> when do you sleep? <laughs> uh, no, I'm working in my sleep, okay? But I love when you love what you do, you don't never feel like you're working. So That's I true. love what I do. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Council Councilwoman Randall. Next up, CMO NASDAQ's Executive Director, Kendra Ease. Stay tuned.